Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz, and I'm excited to present to you Q&A Day. And we have an awesome question from the Aimless Adventurer. What a fantastic name. I would wear a hat that said the Aimless Adventurer, a sweatshirt that said the Aimless Adventurer. Um, what, and this refers to vlog number 90, what is colloidal silica? Thanks, Aimless Adventurer, for the question. Ding! What will it do in high temperature refractory mixes? Could it be used to essentially strengthen clay or calcium based refractory mixes? I've been doing a lot of experiment in refractory for lining foundry and forges and have had best. It gets cut off there. Sorry, Aimless Adventurer. Um, uh, yeah, I, I definitely think you can get some benefit out of any nanoparticle whether that's uh, colloidal silica or carbon nanotubes. Um, you know, I really would go after two things there, the particle to particle packing density that you would get in the hardening that you would get from that void filling uh, concept. And then looking at something like carbon nanotubes, um, you know, assuming that you have some type of chemical or mechanical bonding between the interface and the carbon nanotube, you would gain some ductility or toughening out of that carbon nanotube, whether it's single or, or multi-walled. Um, but yeah, I think both would be good. I don't think you're gonna be getting the same things that we get out of our Portland cement-based binder that we use in our concrete composites that you're gonna get in, our, in your refractory type. But I know colloidal silica has been used for those types, or nanosilica-sized particles have been used for those types of applications. Uh, for creating high strength materials. So no, I don't think that would be a problem. A great place that I would start would be a, probably a, a, a 10 to 12 nanometer size particle, 30% distribution, sodium stabilized. Uh, that should be good. pH of about nine and a half if you could take that in the mix. Yeah, you should go good with that. Uh, mix it in or spray it on top. Probably mix it in would be best. Shoot, if you could spray it on top too or, or soak it, that would be cool too. So yeah, let me know how it works out. If you have any other questions, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go Concrete! Beat ass And scene.